Here in this example, we have several things going on. Not only do we have some negative exponents, but we've got a product that's being raised to a power. So because of that, let's go ahead and let's deal with that power to power first. And also, since we have that product raised to the power, remember it's like we have to distribute that power out. So I'm going to have a to the negative fifth raised to the negative sixth. Now I'm going to go ahead and write this out this first time so that we can see that. That'll be a to the negative fifth raised to the negative sixth power times. Now we have b squared raised to the negative sixth power. Now once you have that understanding, you can start taking some shortcuts and, and just doing it sort of in your head and writing it down. But now we have power to power, so we have to multiply. So negative 5 times negative 6 would make a to the 30th power times, now again we have power to power, so we should have to multiply. So 2 times negative 6, that's going to make that a b to the negative 12 power. Now looking at it with fresh eyes now, say, okay, this is as if it were a different problem. What do we need to do now? Well, we have a negative exponent here, which says that this is not in the proper position. So we need to drop it down to the denominator. So let's do that. If we have an a to the 30th power in the numerator, we need to drop the b to the 12th down to the bottom to correct that exponent. Here again we have powers and products, and this time in quotients, raised to the negative exponent. So here again, let's do the same thing. Using our quotient rules, we know that we should be able to take e this power to both the numerator and also to the denominator. Okay, because inside here, we have a product and we also have a product on top. That means that if you ignore this bottom part of the problem, doesn't this look exactly like this problem did? Absolutely. Now we're just adding in that denominator there. But we're going to do the exact same thing. So let's try and do this without writing it out like we did in this last one. If I have a to the fifth raised to the negative third power, that would be a to the negative 15 times b raised to the negative third would be b to the negative 3 over, now here on bottom I've got a to the seventh raised to the negative third which would be a to the negative 21 and we have b to the negative 2 raised to the negative 3 so don't forget to multiply those, negative 2 times negative 3 would be a positive 6 now we've taken care of that nastiness, but we have a lot of negative exponents left. We have a negative exponent here which tells us that this a needs to go down into the denominator. So that is truly a to the 15th on bottom. We also have a negative exponent here which says that that b needs to go down to the denominator also. So that would be b to the 3rd on bottom a to the negative 21, that negative exponent says that this does not belong in the denominator, it needs to go up to the numerator. So a to the negative 21, we can correct that by putting a to the 21st on top. And b to the 6, well he's just fine. He doesn't have any problems whatsoever. So he stays on bottom as b to the 6th. Now we can start simplifying what we have. <clears throat> we have a to the 21st over a to the 15th. Remember when you're dividing like bases, you subtract the exponents. So 21 minus 15 would be a to the 6th power. And we also have our b's here on bottom. We're multiplying like bases, so we're supposed to add the exponents. That would be b to the ninth power, and that is how that would simplify.